We haven't because um, right now the format with Miami Motel Stories is that there's several eras. I think the closest we got to that was for MIMO because it was 1950s and sort of all of the branding and all of that was, you know, the sort of like 1950s feel. And so when people arrived, they arrived at a tiki party. So, you know, we said, come in your tiki best, but you know, it's hard to get people to, you know, unless yeah, it's people like, coming hey, like, it's like, yeah. like uh, Playboy bunnies. And, and, well, the, and what they had, they had like their, you know, Hawaiian shirts on and things like that. But, you know, once you enter the show, then you're in, you know, you're, yeah. you're in several different decades, but Mimo was a little like that because, you know, the, fr the front part, if you remember, when you walked in, it was, you know, you had the big, you know, bus from the 1950s there, right. and we had, you know, the umbrellas and tiki cocktails and stuff like that. But once you went into the, went into this bus, which was like the portal into, you know, this building and all, all its different ghosts and whatnot, um, you then, you then go into another world. A little bit of a creepy world of, you know, Biscayne Boulevard. 